These issues have become a new normal, and the most recent one happened on July 26, where we, we saw comrades, students of the University of Nigeria, under the banner of the Student Unification Party being vandalized, some of them being dehumanized. We saw a young man, a peaceful protester, who gathered before the United States Embassy near Morovia to express that they are the spirit of and give the government of the state and thereby us President we are to fix the state. We also want to believe that you, our partners, have seen via Facebook and all other social media outlets several horrible pictures and video footage of a young man protests are being violently assaulted, mercilessly beaten, and strapped naked in broad daylight. As one of our major partners, we beseech you to immediately intervene in this matter by committing our government to do the needful, the needful to further skill the perpetrators that commit their shots and our program against humanity. Increasing cases, increasing cases of government sponsored brutality are popping up every day, everywhere across the country. We are very aware of the unprecedented level of insecurity. We will no longer sit and watch state corporations destroy the fabric of this country. The indicators of another or for the worst armed conflict are rising steadily and becoming clearer every day. Interestingly, since the barbaric act happened on Tuesday, July 26, the government is yet to make a single arrest or prosecution. This shows that the inhuman maltreatment of specials of peaceful citizens, members and leaders of the Student Education Party was a state sponsor operation, especially since it was understood by folks under the banner of the Council of Petra, CDC Council of Petra, a full government of slavery team. Our countrymen, the victims, are grieving and crying out for justice as they grow in serious pain and political conditions. We demand that the government handle the situation extremely and fall of pertinence and political sentiments. The dreadful action on our Independence Day came fresh to us, to the minds of every Liberian and many Liberians, as a striking reminder of our dark days frightening memories that we do not want to ever suffer again. The days of terror, the days of people committing war and becoming traps against the state and having a walk in a park with impunity. Since our last seven war, it has been 19 years now, our government has failed to provide justice for over 250,000 victims. This culture needs to stop. We demand justice for victims, dead and alive. We demand justice for traumatized victims, many of whom are living in deep pool of depression and frustration. We want to acknowledge and appreciate your unending compliance, cooperation, and support as a development partner. Over the years, you have demonstrated what the true meaning of Allah, trustworthy growth uh, partner. We have been dear, you have been there with us through our dark days and still you are today. Thank you for giving for, for not giving uh, up on us. We demand you hardly, but we also urge you to do more for humanity's sake. Do more to prepare our government to govern the state in line with international standards and their practices. It is also our passionate call and fragment hope that as a result of this great human rights violation, we would appreciate your approval of this petition and that it gets the formal attention to arrest the situation for further examination. 
Thank you for your attention and cooperation also. Signed, as well as kind of chairperson of the Purdue uh, Resident of Nigeria, Fred Howard Jr. member, Stephen Ezra World Guru member, to your fellow Scarlet member, Jala K. Bisa member. Thank you very much. Manda! Manda! The way education is justice. Amanda, the way to do. We are only going to see justice for those who are facing it. Yo, 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 my role is the role of a postmaster. I have received your communication. I will post it to the colleagues in charge by the resident coordinator for a proper determination. But be rest assured that the concerns you have raised is pertinent to the UN. We are as concerned as this communication will be as to the highest level of the Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Manda! Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Can My you name is Uchenna Okay, Thank you so much, Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Manda, 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 Manda. Well, they said they presented their petition to the United Nations, and uh, it's been received by the UN and uh, university students. So this is school online too, school 91.9 FM in Painesville, Liberia, and we would like to give you a little view from the front here to see how this.
Justice for Christopher, the rest of the duos. A lot of inscriptions here on their placards. So we will hold on a bit where an inquiry has been launched as to see who's going to receive whatever they've brought this afternoon. This is school online too. Representative here, we still at the Airport Commission at the one UN House, and after which they're going to be traveling to the US Embassy. I'm told to present their petition also, and then you follow their first presentation. They are calling for justice. And thank you for standing up for Mr. Sulu and the rest of the province of the Bandala. The recent violence action that took place between the students of the University of Liberia and that of the CDC Council of Patriots, in which Christopher Sisulu Sidley was brutalized, stripped naked. So we hear cool online too. My name is Gordon Howard. I'm on the tour of the Butterfly. Without peace and justice, you are dead living, dead walking. Without peace and justice, we cannot have no rest in place. So we must get that peace in between our pieces of fragile ones. But our partners are being just to align to the peace. So we must do everything to protect the peace that our fragile ones have for over about 20 years before the first ever press in the country here. I come back to the market. Do you want? So the marshal secretary here is 
I need a question, just one person, because this is a diplomatic area. This is a diplomatic area. All right, so we've been asked to go with one person to present their petition, and because this place is a diplomatic area, so... Uh, let's hope that we can give you update on what's going to be transparent. So, uh, we are here. Now I'm to... It's not pro to the authority to receive the petition, right? It's not a political affairs office on your behalf. So, so I'm taking a look. Yeah, I'm taking a look. 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 I'm but we have been asked to just be on a standby. This is a, a diplomatic area. So uh, this is the protocol they are asking the media to leave because she is not the, the rightful authority to receive the petition. She is not the right person to receive the petition. She's the secretary to one of the UN diplomats. So. And I'm wondering how it's not going to work because all of the media persons here have been asked because she's not along with the authority to receive a um, petition on behalf of the boss. So this is it. We're still here at the one UN house. Just close to the University of Liberia and the Mongolia City Hall. I'm still on top of this development today. A wet day in Mongolia and this virus. But this is what we do. Go online to go 9 to 1.9. Going beyond the bound in ensuring that information forward and about my area and appearance. I brought to your doorsteps. So keep tuning. This is who online too. This first person is back. And I think he's going to brief us later on, on as to what. Thank you very much. Uh, we came to the, uh, the, the headquarters of the FWA, the Economic Community of West, Af uh, West African State. But unfortunately, we did not meet uh, the ambassador here today. Uh, not at the political affairs officer, but we met the secretary, who is now caught with the authority to receive petition. But she received the petition uh, behind the scene, uh, off camera. So we presented to her the petition of the concerned students of the University of Nigeria, and she assured us that the petition, they are long, you know, and they will present the petition to the ambassador, and the ambassador will make report to the head office of the Air Force uh, at the region there. So we want to appreciate the press for coming along with us. And from here, we'll proceed to the Embassy of the United States to petition them. We want to carry this petition around to all of our partners in Moravia here. So we found out about a grave incident that took uh, place on July 26th. And this incident took place on July 26th. And up to present, there is no arrest. There is no prosecution. There is a serious affront to, to, to the student community. There is a serious affront to parents that saw their children, that saw their son, being brutalized, demon as the struggle was taken up, born naked. Everybody saw this disturbing video circulating on social media. Every one of you, the press, you were there, you saw it. You carry life. So it is about time for us to stand up as citizens. We cannot continue to live in fear. We cannot continue to live in oppression. Just we are promised our chains. Never knew this chains was a retrogressive one. And what I saw just we are that his wicked days, his days of bad deeds. The days of dictatorship will come to an end. We saw what happened to Charles Taylor, and we saw what happened to all of the wicked leaders around the world. And yes, they were also told you that his children will be reminded that your father was a ruler and not a leader. 
that your father was a wicked man. Your father was a reincarnation of chancellor in the country here. So I want to say thank you to the press. And we have encouraged you to follow us to go up to the United States Embassy to petition the U.S. Thank you. So that's it. You can like rejoin us a moment from now. We are going to be there at the UN Embassy just from the ECOWAS headquarters here in Liberia, where the secretary uh, to one of the diplomats or the person going with the authority to receive uh, the petition, receive it, but that was in close doors. So um, I will be informed that it was actually presented. So who online too will take this break as soon as we get uh, there at the um, United States Embassy. We're going to rejoin you. So keep posted. Don't you go away. Just in minutes, we are going to be rejoining you shortly.